and to, uh, for the RAS, for the finish of the RAS. I've been talking to a man called Seamus Shortall, who is a timekeeper for a long, long time uh, and been involved with the RAS also for a long time. But let's uh, Seamus talk to us about what he actually does. Seamus, uh, long time, not long time now, see, we see each other quite often. Um, what was involved with you this week? What do you actually have to do to this week? So every day I go ahead to the finish with Frank Gibson, the photo finish operator. We set up the photo finish equipment and the computers and we wait for the finish. When the race finishes, we're joined by the judges and timekeepers and then we identify the riders as quickly as we can to get the podium ceremony organized. So the yellow jersey, the points, the mountains. And uh, we try to get it right under a lot of pressure from noise and excitement. And then we go back to the hotel and we place every single rider in the race, giving them exactly the correct time and placing. So you they start very early and probably finish very late? Well, not too early. We leave maybe mid-morning after breakfast. Then one of my little perks in this race is that I'm allowed to ride 50k to the finish and get some exercise. And then if everything goes well, we're ready by we're finished and done and dusted by tea time. And they can go and have a look around whatever interesting town we finished in. Tell me a bit more. You you have been visiting a few countries and uh, as in your role as timekeeper and, and, and photo finisher. What sort of countries you have visited lately? Uh, well, this year I began with the Turtle and Kaui in Malaysia, and there it's quite a rich event. So uh, they have a lot of equipment, and uh, the job is different there. It stretches me in different directions technically. In many ways, it's easier because we don't have so many people doing more than one role. So, but on, in other ways, we've got to be very careful with the communication because we're working across multiple languages. It's great fun. It's, it must be very interesting life you have, and this is not this is just a hobby as well of yours, isn't it? You're not full time in this. No, no, this is a hobby. I mean, I originally uh, I've been cycling since I was a teenager. When I realised I wasn't going to make the podium the hard way, I found another way of getting on the podium. Yes, uh, I uh, find uh, your results and your result team. Quite magnificent because uh, half an hour, an hour after the race, the results are there. Now this is something that you don't see in the continent sometimes because you have to wait and wait and wait for this. This we have uh, at our email an hour later, you know, with the full results and the rest. So it's, it's a great way of, of getting the race uh, for us as such. So same as thank you very much for talking to us. Uh, I always wanted to know a bit of the background because it's always the riders and whoever, but uh, we like to see the background a bit as well because uh, cycling is not only about the riders, it's about the volunteers. And thank you very much, Danny, for your support and encouragement and sometimes your understanding when we're not as quick as we'd like to be.